There are a number of tests that can be used to examine the reliability of outcome measures. The first examines test-retest reliability, which indexes consistency of a measure over time. This involves measurement being made again and again, for example, someone watching a video interview of a patient with depression and using a scale to rate their depression symptoms, then re-watching the same interview and repeating the rating. Scores in the repeated tests are correlated, producing a test-retest reliability coefficient. A value over positive 0.7 is representative of acceptable reliability. Another test examines internal consistency, which indexes the consistency of symptom scores across items in the survey. To measure this, items on the survey are split in two, and scores on the first half are correlated with scores on the second half, which is called split half correlation. And a correlation of over positive 0.7 is considered as acceptable reliability. An even more fastidious method of looking at internal consistency is Cronbach's alpha, which provides the mean of all possible split half correlations over positive 0.7 is considered good reliability. One more test examines inter-rater reliability, which indexes reliability across different researchers or scorers, that is the ability for the survey to provide reliable scores no matter who is scoring. A measure over positive 0.7 is considered acceptable inter-rater reliability. The best studies will use measures that have been validated as reliable by one of these methods.